Hello everybody. Uh, in the last video, I explained what a total knee replacement surgery was, and I promised you in the next video I would talk about some of the complications that can go on with that surgery. So let's jump right into that. Um, some of the complications I've written here on the board, we have infection. You can develop a, a DVT or a blood clot. Persistent pain, so chronic pain that, that goes on for, for months or, or never goes away nerve injury and prosthesis failure okay so uh, total knee replacement surgery is pretty good and and there's risk with any surgery so let's go over what the percentage of these risks are and how we can kind of mitigate that and decrease your chances of having a problem so first of all with an infection that happens in uh, less than one percent of the time okay so as long as you're following uh, the post-op protocol on uh, keeping the wound dry, uh, making sure you're not showering and getting any, any uh, dirty water down into that incision, um, usually you're pretty good with infection. And, and a lot of times the doctor will give an antibiotic right after the surgery to keep, to keep that uh, chance for infection very low. The problem with an infection is that now you have a, a uh, prosthetic that is not live tissue replacing live tissue. That prosthetic doesn't have the ability to fight off infection. And so an infection can be really, really bad. And so the doctors will usually prescribe that antibiotic to keep that chance very low. And then there's some things you can do at home uh, with the post-op protocols. Uh, blood clot. That's a little bit higher. That happens in about 15% of the people of patients post-op total knee replacement. There's also some things you can do to, to help decrease the chances of that. They will tell you in the hospital and we'll tell you at physical therapy what to do, but keep the joint moving, keep the ankle moving and, and uh, the calf moving that will help keep the blood flow going and so you don't the blood doesn't pool and start to clot okay the next one is persistent pain and that happens this is a little bit of a range but 8 to 23 percent of the time okay we're going to talk in we're going to talk a little bit on how to how to decrease that let's jump right into nerve injury and that happens um only one to two percent of the time okay that's that's usually a problem um, that that happens during the surgery there's not really anything you can do to prevent that um, in 20 years of, of treating post-op total knees I've only seen this happen one time it's very rare uh, we don't we don't see it around here very often at all Okay. And then prosthesis failure, that happens about 2% of the time. Okay. And really over the past uh, four to five years, I've seen that drop dramatically as well. Uh, when I first started treating about 20 years ago, again, um, I saw a few more of those in the past five, eight years, I don't think we've seen one of those. So the prosthesis have gotten a lot better. The surgical technique has gotten a lot better. Um, so that is that happens rarely around here anymore either. Now let's talk about these three things over here. I separated them out because really these three things over here can be helped by physical therapy. Okay. Now infection, physical therapy, we're not going to prevent it or or uh, make it go away if it happens but really what happens when you come to physical therapy uh, on a consistent basis is we're always looking that at that incision and if there's any red flags whatsoever we're on the phone with your doctor's office right away getting you back in there so they can do a culture or take a look um, and and nip it in the bud early rather than late so it doesn't become a major problem uh, DVT and clots, we talked about movement, um, and we teach you the exercises and the things that you need to do to keep it moving, to prevent that blood clot, and also some things to do at home as far as 
uh, positioning and wearing your compression socks and things like that to make sure that you don't that you don't develop a blood clot so we really help decrease the the chance of that happening too when you're when you're going to physical therapy on a consistent basis persistent pain uh, we know that uh, that usually happens in people that um, kind of give in to the pain and don't move the knee. Um, it's a little bit counterintuitive. Um, after surgery, the knee is stiff and painful, and so you don't want to move it, and that actually makes it worse. That makes the pain and the stiffness worse. And so coming to physical therapy, um, we're, not, we're not super mean about it, but we gently keep the joint moving and so that pain decreases and, and you feel a lot better it's amazing the the number of people that come into physical therapy here at rock run and they tell us when they first get there oh i'm in a lot of pain today go easy on me and and we do but we gently push a little bit and then by the end of the treatment on the way out they're telling us how much better they feel um, and then the next time they come in, they tell us that they felt better for several days. Um, and then that stiffness does kind of come back early on after surgery. And then we start that process all over again. And, and gradually you stay less stiff and less pain, painful for longer periods of time. So physical therapy can help with all three of these. Um, and especially these two right here that are the highest percentage of, of uh, complications after a total knee surgery. So um, physical therapy can help decrease your chances of having a problem after, after total knee surgery, and we're glad to help. In the, in the next video, I'm going to talk about um, one of the things that you can do to improve your chances of recovery by almost 29 percent so look forward to to getting that video from me and have a super fantastic day